they name movies after him that have nothing to do with him. Like Waiting for Superman. That had nothing to do with crime fighting or Krypton. It was about kids and failing schools. But my buddy Aquaman and I are making a movie called uh, Waiting for Aquaman. It's about Andrew Yates' kids. Now, Aquaman. Now, Aquaman, that's a brave dude, okay? Because a few years ago, he was dead. But he was still active. He was a zombie. And he had command over sea life. Over dead sea life. This means that he could go in a grocery store and, and just make all the fish sticks rise and attack his enemies. If this guy was in a high-speed chase, he could just go through the McDonald's drive through and call forth filet of fish to strike Lex Luthor dead. What, we got a bunch of Lex Luthor sympathizers in the house? I guess Lex Luthor is a job creator, isn't he? And, uh, yes, you know, being Green Lantern, I'm right with DC, I'm a DC soldier. DC, motherfucker! Is that Marvel? I can't get down with those, those Marvel whims, you know? Like, Ultimate Spider-Man. Have you heard about this, the new Spider-Man? They were making a big deal about it in the news, because he's half black, half Latino. Half black, half Latino. Or as Sarah Palin would put it, half anchor baby, half boozle. <laughs> but uh, I, I think that that would make for a great episode of Maury. You see this angry Latina on there. Maury, I gotta tell you, one of those two clowns, one of those two payasos, that's the baby daddy. <laughs> it's gotta be either Black Panther, the king of Wakanda, or the spider that lives in my bedroom. <laughs> but it's one of those two more. And really, yo, half black, half Latino, I don't know why the news is making such a big deal about it. That's nothing new. Back in my day, we called them Puerto Ricans. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did we not take history class here? <laughs> did you think they just appeared there? Magically appeared on an island. <laughs> Man, and I am I'm Green Lantern. You can check out the logo, Green Lantern, not Green Hornet. Keep it straight, okay? See, I protect the whole space sector by myself. Not like Green Hornet who needs his little partner, Kato, to patrol the city with him. Now, Kato was a, was, was a little confusing, because when Kato first came out on the radio show, he was Japanese. Then Pearl Harbor happened, and he became Filipino. <laughs> then in the TV show, he was Chinese. And then the movie that just came out, he was Taiwanese. Basically... Kato has gone through more nationalities than Kim Kardashian's vagina. <laughs> Surprise! It, it, it's actually me, it's Michael. I'm not really Green Lantern. Okay, what a full Lois Lane. And she's an investigative reporter. See, I wasn't sure, I, I wasn't sure about it to, to go with a traditional Green Lantern costume, or, you know, nowadays, if, you go, if you've been to Spencer's, you see what's all the rage? It's always the, the, the like the sexy nurse, the sexy cowboy. I see you being the, the sexy Green Lantern. Pride Fest in the in the past, 
We're hoping to make this one the biggest one yet and the first of many annual events. So come check that out. It's going to be at the bar downtown known as Someplace Else. That's the actual name of the bar, Someplace Else 2. And this is a fundraiser for Pride Fest. And have you ever, have you ever been to Someplace Else? Have you been there? Anyone? All right. You knew that. But Rusty, if you haven't been there, it's really cool. It's kind of like The Office. Do you know what better yet? It's kind of like Care A Lot, where the Care Bears live. Because there's rainbows all over the place. And although there aren't any Care Bears, there are plenty of Bear Daddies. <laughs> so if you're in need of a warm and furry hug, <laughs> it's a good place to go. <laughs> now for me, you know, I myself, I may not be gay, but I believe in equal rights for everyone. Yeah, I respect, I respect whatever lifestyle, as long as you're not hurting anyone. You know, whether it's gay, bi, or, or then what I learned about recently is uh, transgender. That blew my mind. Transgender. That. Do you know what that means? That means that some people are born a certain gender, but they don't feel like they're male or they're female. They transcend gender. That's deep. That's deep. I mean, that, that blew my mind. Think about it. Eminem is not a wigger. He's trans-ethnic. I'm not funny looking. I'm trans-handsome. <laughs> How can you not respect that? But I'll tell you what I'm not down with, though. What about preoperative transgender? I don't, I don't really see the difference between that and cross-dressing. Really, I mean, at that point, you're no better than Tyler Perry. Now, how many of y'all, first time you saw Tyler Perry dressed up like Medea, thought RuPaul had just packed on some pounds? <laughs> yeah. But, um... I will uh, I gotta say, it is very exciting to be a uh, part of the League of Extraordinary Comedians because we, we do a lot of charity events, and what brings us together is our love of comic books. And being comic book geeks, we're kind of annoying people to watch movies with because we'll point out like all the inaccuracies. Like, uh, for example, in Iron Man. Anyone see Iron Man? Woo! All right. Now, in, uh, in Iron Man, um, Sam Jackson plays Keith, uh, plays uh, Nick Fury. However, in the comic book, Nick Fury is Caucasian. But then I thought about it. You know what? Nah, oh, that's cool. Sam Jackson, see, he's one of them trans ethnic motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> he's that good an actor. He can play any ethnicity. Samuel L. Jackson can play Adolf Hitler if he wanted. <laughs> yes, six million Jews are dead. I hope they burn in hell. I like my fries, motherfucker. Alright, okay, uh, oh, I also do want to mention, I got a book of poetry for sale, I didn't bring it up with me this time, I'll bring it up next time. But, are you ready for your next comedian? <laughs> That's pretty good, but I think you can do a little better. Are you ready for your next comedian? <laughs> uh, this gentleman, I've had the pleasure uh, to share the mic with him a couple of times. He's uh, opened up for, uh, for Scott Long. Please! Welcome to the stage, Scott Galvin!